think it's one of the most brutal and savage um, sexual assaults and murderous assaults which um, this young woman had to face. And I believe that it is linked to realities of many dimensions. For example, it was a single woman family. She was brought up by her mother. There were just two women basically in that family. And that itself requires a particular socio-economic approach which is lacking. We have always demanded specific security measures, economic measures, social measures for vulnerable families and in which we discuss vulnerability also linking it to uh, single parent families and single and families which are dependent on a woman which is what really this family was all about. Secondly, the whole aspect of Dalit. I mean there's absolutely no question in it. There should not be a question in anyone's mind. Most definitely these two aspects, the economic aspect of a single parent, a single woman family and the second aspect of a Dalit uh, family, these are critical in the vulnerability which allowed such a brutal crime to take place without any community support around in that area. And that is what is really of, and it should be of so much concern that a young woman cries for help and really even in a state like Kerala it seems that that help was not forthcoming and I think that is something which really has to concern all of us. From our side, from the side of Edwa, from the side of the left, from the side of the party, there was a spontaneous and outrage which expressed itself in huge mobilizations all through Kerala. The fact of the matter is that there is politics involved. The role of the police, for example, the fact that the police wanted to cover it up and started talking about Jisha's relationship with this or that or that she was. In fact, one of the policemen apparently also talked about her mental health. Now, this is outrageous and completely unacceptable. But this happens precisely because you have a political framework there which wants to conceal issues, which wants to invisibilize issues and wants to see it only through the lens of elections, which is sickening to say the least. Therefore, I believe that a much wider national movement, justice for Jisha, must, uh, 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 there should be a much wider social movement of anger against uh, what happened and I think that is why it's not just justice for Jisha but it's justice for Dalits, it's justice for women, it's justice for families who are dependent on a single woman for survival.